All right, next, we've got to put the springs on. So first of all, you need this little shock collar thing in my jig. And then that making five millimetre gap here. And then I'm going to do the other one the same, but I'll do that off camera. Next, we've got to fit the shocks to the rear gearbox. And then we've got slightly longer screws to hold them onto the bottom arms. All right, step 23 complete. All right, step 24, that's pretty much the same as what it was on the rear shocks. So this step, this step, this step, it's exactly the same, just the front springs are slightly different. So I'm not gonna bother doing them on camera, so I'll put you back on when we get to step 27. All right, step number three, we now have got to attach these shocks onto the front here. So same again as on the rear. I'll tell you what I should have done now actually is made sure that I align these collars at right angles so that they're easily accessible. Alright, step number 27 done. Alright, step number 28. So we've got the servo radio gear. I'm going to use a Traxxas receiver for now and this Etronic servo wide kicking about. All right, step number I done it wrong guys. You can't put this little on off switch plate thing on there because it gets stuck in between the chassis. All right, that's step number 29 done. All right, step number 30. If you can hear all that racket in the background, there's a load of boy racers buzzing around up and down the road. I can't really say anything because I used to do the same. Alright, step number 31, 
That's gonna take me a little while to get all that sorted out and then I'll put you back in when it's all plugged in. All right, step number 31, we've got to stick these electronics in. So far, the only bit that's really different compared to the original manta ray is the way the electrics go in. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera off to sort all this out with some cable tires, and then we'll go on to step number 32. All right, step number 32. All right, steering linkage, step number 33. Uh, ooh, hold on. Hold on a minute. That's it. That's it. Alright, that is that step done. Now we're on to step number 34. Alright, so now step number 35. Attach the front end. I remember back in the day, this thing used to bend like all the time, which is why I upgraded it on my other one. Ah, and something else I just noticed, look how close that is to that shaft there. So I think I'm gonna pop him off and just move him over a little bit. That's better. All right, so now we've got to pop on the steering linkages. And we can now go ahead and attach the bump off of step number 36. Next, we've got to mount the tyres. It doesn't say anything about any foams or any glue. And if I remember back in the day, you just kind of stuck them in there and you just hope for the best. <laughs> Actually, I do remember when I was a little kid, he was busting up my hands getting these on there. But I was so excited to get out and play, I didn't care, I'd have done it anyway. Alright, four more, and I'll do them off camera. We, the wheels are going on, and while I'm putting the wheels on there, my buddy is going to cut out the body shell for me. So that's that step there, and yeah, there you go, something like that. And while he's doing that, I'm going to stick the wheels on here. Something here that I missed on step number 38 was putting in the body post. Just quickly screw him in. Hey! 
Why does that not? Ah, wrong screw, that's why. Ah, and I missed another step. I'm trying to do it all quick on camera so I'm not being too boring. Uh, I'm missing the odd little bit of detail here and there. Alright, so now we've got to connect up the motor. For that, we need the instructions, wherever they've gone. It says on there, when you're running brushed, which ones go to a brushed motor. But it's actually a brushless ESC in there. So, blue wire goes to minus. Eh, what the hell's minus out of yellow and green? Does it say on the motor? Nope. Alright, well, we'll just guess. If it goes the wrong way, we can always change it over. So, we've got to use blue and yellow, orange not used. We just lightly put that in there for now. See if it goes the right way. All right, so now we're on the body shell step. And after that, I don't know, I think we're done. Yeah, so we're body shell now. So we're gonna get that body shell all cut out. We're gonna get that sprayed up. If I remember correctly, you have to squeeze this bit to get it past the shock towers. <laughs> it's a mantle way. All right, paint the body shell time. So I always like to key it up, but you've got to make sure you do not go over the windows. Otherwise it's going to look scratched, obviously. So I'll use a little scouring pad. And all it does is helps the paint stick a little bit better. I'm not an expert. Expert sitting here over here, keeping quiet. <laughs> so he's probably going to tell me how I'm supposed to be doing it. I remember on my first mantle way, the paint always needs to come off around his nose cone bit. So I'm definitely going to make sure I key it up around there. Also, it says in the instructions here, you've got to degrease it. They're doing it with washing up liquid and water, but I can't be bothered with all that, so I'll just use a bit of brake cleaner. A lot of people in the comments have said to me, don't do it. It's bad for the plastic. Well, I've always done it like that and never had a problem. So that's how I'm gonna do this one. If you're gonna use brake cleaner, maybe check it on like a little off-cut bit first, because all brake cleaners are different. I use this worst stuff, and that doesn't really attack any plastic. All right, so we're just preparing the body shell. And the Vinny's just putting on the old masking tape on there. Did a better job than I would do. And while he's doing that, we got, well, we got this prepared, the rear wing. I'm gonna cut some of these stickers out and I'm not gonna bore you with the whole process of cutting that out because it's gonna take ages. So I'll put you back on when we're ready to stick something on. All right, so I've got the old speed disc stickers cut out. I've got eight of them to stick on, so I'll do one and then we'll turn the camera off and I'll show you when it's all done. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Part four coming up next, and that'll be the last final part, and we'll give it a quick test run as well. All right, guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified, share it with your buddies to share some memories. You know what you got to do, guys. See you soon.